Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, it's Annalisa and I'm doing a pick a card reading today which is about your weekly love, um, like a weekly love kind of insight, so for the upcoming week whenever you tune in I'm going to have a, like an overview, the lessons that are coming up, what kind of things are going to be coming in, what things are going to be going out and some advice. Okay, so yeah, just a kind of general overall picture of, of what's the process really that's going on for you over the next week. So, um, three piles. I've got three stones that I can't remember the name of, hoping that someone's going to help me um, kindly again identify them. This beautiful one that looks a little bit like it came from space somehow. Uh, it's, um, it's slightly orangey in colour. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. But yeah, that's number one, Morgan Greer Tarot. Number two, this is some kind of cross. Is it a, a fairy cross or something like that? Um, I can't remember what this is, but yeah, some kind of cross thing. Um, pretty cool. And number three, this one is kind of like an animal print somehow. And that's the Cosmic Tarot. Shadowscapes is number two. Okay, so pick your pile and um, or your deck and skip to the link in the description or the comments to um, go to the timestamp and go straight there. Okay, group number one. The cards, I have already pre-shuffled them, but I'm just going to do a little extra now we're here and present and beginning the reading. So, ooh, flipping cards. Seven of Wands just flipped out there about defending something, about holding your passion, holding your strength, and standing up for yourself or for a relationship for someone else, but standing in a kind of bold, confident place to protect whatever you it is you're wanting to protect this week. Okay. That wasn't the actual reading. That was just a <laughs> that was a bonus because I just wanted to come out and be be seen. We'll see if it if it shows up in the spread. I'm, I'm trying a new spread today, so um, it might take me a minute just to tune in to the how the energies come out in, in a different spread, when I use a different spread. It's like a, a kind of networking that goes on between the cards, so um, yeah, anyway. I'll just pause <laughs> if that happens. That's all it is. If I'm pausing a lot, it's just because I'm feeling into the the connections. Okay, let's do this. So the overall process: Ace of Pentacles. Nice. I like it. Something tangible, something solid, physical coming in. I'm just going to move this some um, camera back a bit, actually. Space. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles, put that on there. Let's have a look. The lessons coming in the Knight of Rods, the Justice card, and the Six of Wands. Okay. Mm. Absolutely someone or something coming in with some kind of offer and something about balance, bringing in some balance and some stability. It's, ugh. I say that, um, what I really mean is it's about things coming around. With the balance, it's not necessarily stability, it's about cause and effect and the kind of, the process of what's happened before coming into a, um, 
the kind of the effort, the intentions, the actions, everything that's happened before coming in full circle. And this is, this is somebody coming in or something coming in for success with passion. This is passion coming in. This is a determination, creative. Okay, we're going to go more into it. I want to see a little bit more. What else? Yeah, coming in, King of Cups. Guys, King of Cups is coming in for you this week. Whether you're male or female, this is the stable emotional energy. There's that Seven of Wands. Okay, Seven of Rods coming in. And the Four of Wands. Oh, guys, this is beautiful. Ah, oh, okay, really, really nice. Really, really nice. And let's see what's going out this week. Three of Wands. Waiting. The Hierophant. Interesting. That came in reverse. I'm going to keep it in reverse, actually. And the King of Rods in reverse as well. All right. And your advice. Death card. The Hanged Man. Two Major Arcana. And the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay, guys. This is beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful spread. I'm just going to grab another deck for clarification. Just in case I want anything as we go. Basically, this group, you've got love coming in. A love offer is coming in. Something you can actually tangibly hold. Not an idea or a thought. It's, um, it's being asked out. It's being um, taken somewhere. It's being surprised by something. It's, it's having a, a tangible love offer on the table, in the flesh something you can read or see or touch or whatever it is. It's something, um, and it's something significant. It's something really, really significant. With these cards coming in, a lot of major arcana, um, there's something that is very passionate, that is very deep and soulful. There is a lot of fire energy here, a lot of passion. It's, made, it's nearly all ones, actually. It's a lot of passion coming in. Okay, so let's have a little bit, uh, look, a little look more. What you're learning, so you're learning about, um, okay. it's about the, um, how you're, when you put some real dedication into something, when you put passion into something, when you believe it's going to succeed and seeing it come around. So you have been putting in dedication, you've been putting in time, you've been putting in effort, you've been um, also spiritually, like this is on a spiritual level as well as a compassionate level or, or fiery level because the ones are also about spirit. And it's about, uh, I feel like you have been really dedicated and purposeful in your spiritual journey towards love. You've been doing, you know, the self-work in order to reap rewards. And this is what's happening over the next week. You're going to be reaping the rewards. I really want you to comment below. If something happens, please, please comment below because I love, I love it when, you know, this stuff shows up and then it comes in. It's so powerful. Um, and it's really good for you to kind of anchor in as well as connect with other people to anchor in the confirmation that you have done the work and that it is coming in. And this is a beautiful balance coming in. This is real truth, some truth from the heart. And and you are going to feel freaking victorious, okay? You're going to feel like a winner. You're going to feel on top of the world this week because this, this is something that is deep. And you, you may feel like you've been a kind of like it's all been for nothing. Like you might be, you might have felt. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't speak. Um, you might have felt like you didn't really know what you were doing. Like um, you felt like a kid sometimes and kind of stumbling through. But you just keep putting the passion. Keep keep putting in the effort, and and you're gonna get it. Okay, it's gonna come around. It's really coming around. So you're gonna learn about this um, this ability to manifest through your dedicated passion okay what is coming in oh my gosh the king of cups okay male or female someone who is a leader okay the kings are all about leadership about authority about taking charge someone is coming in to take charge of the situation okay some of you this might be you okay some of you you might be the person coming in to take charge 
that will that will kind of play itself out. Sometimes you won't really know in a situation who's going to be the you know the one kind of coming in, but someone in this situation is going to come in. Um, they're going to defend their passion. They're going to stand up for what they believe. They're going to really show how they desire this connection with you how attracted they are to you and coming in the four of wands this is grounding desire grounding a connection grounding love this is the card that actually symbolizes marriage as well <laughs> some of you may be getting a proposal or maybe getting married this week you know there's just someone coming in with a significant desire to ground something um and and this is i mean there's not the pentacles energy. This is about passion, okay? This is not about uh, necessarily long-term uh, commitment yet. But this is someone who is very sincere, okay? So this is something that has the potential for that long-term. But they are just coming in to create some kind of freaking celebration and honor you, celebrate you, and stand up for the fact of, that they care about you, they want to show it. They want to show you that they um, that they really desire you. Okay, and what's coming out this week? What's leaving is waiting around, freaking sitting around waiting for something to happen. Okay, it's this is like this is the week for action and sh things showing up. And we've got the like the three, how many ones? We've got the three, the four, the six and the seven of ones here. It's like all this passion, like charging in. And then the king of ones in reverse, which is interesting because um, this is what's leaving. This is uh, someone who's uh, e egotistical. This is someone who is uh, kind of brash. Um, overly confident in themselves, kind of acting out of ego. They, you know, they appear to be maybe kind of like a um, someone who's kind of quite charming and uh, quite seductive, but actually they're just full of it. Okay, that person or that energy is leaving. This could be someone in particular who is leaving, or this could be the um, a part of you. Or a part of someone else that's that's done okay if you had a, a previous connection with someone who had those kind of qualities this person could be coming back in with um, with stability with emotional stability with compassion and understanding someone who is able to listen who has empathy okay so this could be a person or part of someone else that's departing. And it's coming out of this um, uh, this kind of overly controlling idea of how things should be or what things are supposed to be. Again, it's like this, um, the Hierophant, this is all about um, lessons and learning and spiritual teaching. And in reverse, it's like being drilled in a in a particular mindset or a particular way of um, belief. This is a controlling religion or organization uh, that wants to manipulate the the masses. So this kind of idea is leaving to some kind of um, idea of how things should be. Like the letting go of someone who of, of someone or a mindset or part of yourself that believes this is how things are supposed to be and this is the way things um, or this is the way things have been. This is kind of letting go of tradition and that doesn't necessarily mean um, tradition in a cultural sense. It can be a personal tradition, like something that has been embedded in your life or in the life of someone else of how they b uh, believe or perceive uh, romance should be or love should be or connection should be so it's overturning these things these things are leaving okay those things are going out so the egotistical controlling um dominating kind of energy is leaving and no longer waiting okay your advice this week the hang uh sorry death death i'm the hangman um but death first transformation 
So allow this change, believe in this change. If this is someone who has used to be this kind of arrogant character and is coming back in, and they seem like this stable kind of empathic nature, then trust that they have changed. This person has changed. They've been through something and they've overcome their ego and they're coming in now in a more stable, balanced and sincere, loving place. And to see things from their perspective, okay? You're being asked to really um, look into them, understand how things have been for them and, and see it in a different light. See the whole situation in a new light. Let go of your old ways of seeing your old ways of understanding. This is about you letting go of what you think things should be and how things should be. Letting go of that and then trusting this is a soulmate who's coming in. This is a soulmate connection. So really believe that this offer, this passion um, is sincere look at it from different angles and allow things to transform and change in your life. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the page of cups. This is um, a message of love and about learning about love, about being a child again, allowing yourself to play and have fun and be free and be innocent. Allow yourself to um, love like a kid, like the first time you experience love, you know, this love like you've never been hurt kind of energy. Okay, so we're really allowing that in. Yeah, this time it's 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 the letting go of ego, reflection and mastery, and coming into this emotional stability. There's the queen to match the king, right? Queen and king of cups. But there's been reflection and there's been work. Heavy work has been done, either on your part or on both parts, on their part. Some deep internal reflection, overturning this ego ego mentality, this selfish mentality, doing the work and coming in with stability and gratitude, right, towards what they really care about, overcoming the devil, I mean, it's just like, everything is just coming in, um, but don't, I would say, let go of your expectations of what things should be or how they should look, and, and allow this in, Really allowing, allowing change, allowing transformation. Okay, so that's my message for you, group number one. I hope that uh, was useful and you have a freaking awesome week because it looks great for you. So uh, please drop me a comment below. If you want a personal reading, specific guidance, then do get in touch with the, the links below. Otherwise, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and um, check in with me another time. Hi, group number two. Just giving your cards a little shuffle and hello, Phoenix. Phoenix from the ashes just popped up. So you are likely going through some kind of big transformation, some big change. You are rising from a fire, from a storm. Yeah. Hello. Ooh, you have a lot to say. Or someone has a lot to say. Eight of Wands, communication. Knight of Cups, coming in with passion. Building a web, building a foundation. Okay, this is just, oh my gosh, the cards are really jumping. Eight of Cups, yeah, some losses, some letting go. It's time to let go and really fully embrace this um, rebirth that you're going through. Don't be afraid to, to grieve. Oh, cards. Come on, guys. <laughs> I think they're ready. I think they're ready. Okay. Great. Spill your beans. The main energy. Ten of pentacles. Beautiful. 
this is really beautiful. This is like properly leveling up in a grounded, physical, gorgeous way. Coming together, you and your dragon, you are, you are really coming, um, move, moving up into uh, new places towards um, better times, towards greater abundance, stability, feeling really good, feeling really harmonious, feeling really connected. It's like a real solid, um, solid connection. So for those of you that are single, well, let's see what's happening. But um, whether this is an internal process you're going through, or an external process, because this is the culmination of a cycle. So if you are single, then this is you really coming into a very profound place within yourself, likely, potentially with another. Um, we'll see more as the cards come up. But uh, in relationship as well, this is just really coming up into a powerful, strong partnership. Okay, let's see the lessons. Moon in reverse. Oh, let me show you these cards as they come out. Five of Pentacles and the Magician in Reverse. Okay. Right, these are your lessons. And then let's see what is coming in. Eight of Pentacles, there it is again. There's the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There they are, they stayed there. And what is going out? Three of Wands in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, yes. And the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, yeah, this is coming into partnership, okay? Something is coming in, love is coming in. Absolutely coming in. And your lessons, death card. Sorry, not lessons, advice. This came up for the first group as well in exactly the same position. Two of Pentacles in reverse. And Nine of Cups, beautiful. Oh guys, this is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous reading. All right, let's go through it. So I went through the Ten of Pentacles a bit already. We'll come back to it. First of all, the lessons, okay. You are learning about illumination, truth, seeing seeing behind the mask, seeing behind the falsities that have been in place before. This is uh, wearing your heart on your sleeve. She can actually, she's literally, I don't know if you can see here, she's got the heart there. It's like taking off the mask and wearing your heart on your sleeve. In in Because this is in reverse, it's like the lessons being learned. For me, this is like, um, when it's upright, it's like there's these things to go into. There is something that needs to be revealed, but the moon in reverse, it's like the revelation has, has happened. Okay? So this week, it's about, um, about the revelation, the truth being seen, being heard, being understood. It's, uh, it's really standing in that light from the moon and fully embracing it and, and being able to stand vulnerable in that moonlight because the moon demands of us vulnerability because it asks us to see what we don't want to see usually what we don't want to know what's hidden so we have to really be strong and it gives us the opportunity to be brave to stand in that place and fully acknowledge it you're doing that this week Five of Pentacles, another lesson, a lesson about lack, feeling lack, feeling um, like a victim. And in this particular deck, this is beautiful actually, this particular deck, it's about um, how you feel, and actually many decks, but you're focused on the negative, you're focused on what there isn't, or what's lost, or what's, um, what has ended, what you don't have what's disappeared, what's, what's been, what you've, this can be something you've lost a long time ago and you felt like it's never coming back or it's never been there. But the reality is everything you want is right here. It's right there. You just need to open your eyes 
Just open your eyes and you'll see the truth. And you look up and everything is there already. Everything that you need, everything that you want, it's right there. Just You just need to shift your perspective, shift your focus. This is also about this card, this illumination, seeing in a different way. And when you look in a different place, you're going to see how much, um, how much riches are right there for you. And also this week, you're learning about the magician in reverse. The magician is about creation, about manifestation, about um, creating from the non-physical, how you can use your mind, use your passion, use your ideas, your determination, manage your emotions, how you funnel them to create something. When it's in reverse, you are, rather than working with spirit to create, you are trying to manipulate spirit. So you're trying to create from uh, a false place, from a place of uh, control, uh, from a place of fear, because you don't trust Okay, so you're learning how to trust. You're learning to um, let go of the need to manipulate, basically. That you don't, and I manipulate's a strong word. Um, it's more, what I'm feeling more is that you don't need to um, worry. I feel like there's this kind of anxiety that if you don't try to control how things are going to work out or what you want to create, then you won't get what you want. And there's a release of that. Okay, you're learning all about that this week. So there's some big lessons for you here, actually, this week. Very, very big lessons that are coming in. Because you're going, there is this process, this death process, right? It came up straight away. You're going through a transformation. So you're seeing things in a very different way and you're learning to refocus and the, remember, the theme of this month is the Ten of Pentacles, which is the, the culmination of the journey towards abundance. It's like you've been through a cycle. You've been through some kind of process where you felt like you haven't had enough, haven't been enough, haven't been satisfied. And you're coming to the end of the journey where you step into a new place where you're going to experience all these things in a very different, different way different understanding. Let's see what's coming in. Mastery. Yeah, this is the process you're going through. You're coming into a place of mastery where you are learning to, to create with the universe, where you're trusting, right, okay, spirit, I know you're trying to show me things. I know you're trying to take me down a certain path or um, on, a, on a certain... Um, trajectory and you're planting the seeds okay you're, you're no the seeds have already been planted it's like you're trusting that when you go and take those seeds that they're there they're already there that you just need to go in and collect them and this is somebody this is somebody coming to collect this so in terms of relationship it's like you've you've been doing the work you've already been creating and manifesting in a in a really beneficial way and i think this is the truth that's going to start revealing itself to you is that actually i'm i'm doing this already i thought i had to do blah 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 in order to create love connection whatever and it's like actually it it's already here like the those riches are already here like they they've happened i've already been working on it and now um here we go here comes the knight of cups this is action action on love emotional connection a real deep um soulful messages communication or action this is coming together with someone in an emotional sense and there may feel like some turbulence with it okay the knight of cups it's um it's like it's like emotion that's bubbling 
okay, it, it's moving and it's stirring. And there's this kind of, because it's this, um, uh, there's this kind of fire energy with the knights. So it's like fire and water together, which is like steam, right? Steamy, steamy week. Um, but for some of you, I feel like it's a very kind of, um, like a deep realization, a deep overwhelm of emotion that's kind of flooding, flooding out and communication and action, eight of wands, fire energy, passion, fast moving. But with this particular deck, it's more gentle, okay? There is this kind of um, sense of emotion that's kind of bubbling and steaming over. I'm feeling like a, a pan that's boiling, the water's boiling, and it's just bubbling over. That's what this connection feels like, or this experience that's coming in feels like, is just this, this bubbling over of emotion and this passion and this connection and this um, deep, deep sense of uh, release. There's some kind of release in this. It's lovely because what's coming in, you've got this um, very stable, you've got two eights, like eight, eight of pentacles and the eight of wands. These eights are about strength. They're about um, uh, having integrated lessons, having integrated change and transformation and moving into the nines. Nines is about completion, about things uh, coming together. So it's like this week is about holding this strength, holding this um, this kind of earthy, this is pentacles, is like earthy, stable, grounded energy with fire energy and with this emotion. So it's a very, very uh, like feeling, heavy, heavy feelings this week that are coming in for you. The night could be someone else, it could be you. It could be you expressing something. It could be someone else coming in. Usually I see the nights as someone else coming in, but it, it can be both because this, this bubbling over, I just feel this intensity of emotion and passion because what's going out? Well, three of wands and knight of pentacles in reverse, nine of pentacles. I mean, first of all, nine of pentacles is about being single essentially self-sufficient and single, that's going. That's going out this week, all right? Being single. If you're single or you feel like you're alone, even if you're in a connection and you feel alone, there's going to be this deep connection that's coming through, a new level, okay? So this feeling of being alone, having to be on your own, having to do everything yourself, having to be um, in charge of your own life and not having someone to support you, not having help, not being connected or supported. That sense of being alone is going. And three of wands. Three of wands is about waiting for, waiting for something to come in. So let me just feel, what does this mean in reverse? <laughs> Okay, yeah, something that hasn't come in is basically going. The, the, the idea that you haven't had your, you haven't got what you want, that what you want isn't available, isn't there, is leaving. Does that make sense? Basically what you want is coming, <laughs> in a more simple way. What you want is coming in, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, that I mean, this is what's leaving, stagnation. Stagnation is leaving. Slow, heavy, stagnant energy is leaving because of this fire, this emotion, this passion, these things coming up, bubbling up, being seen, being released, this steam, is movement, it's change. And your advice? Rebirth. Rise from the ashes. Rise with this passion. Rise with this fire. And embrace this warmth, the sun. They like embrace whatever it is coming in, or whatever it is you're offering. This is like a this is like you coming out of the cocoon to into your wings, like growing your wings. And I mean it's I love the death card in this deck because it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a victory, it's like a um like a call. It, it's like the judgment card almost. I feel this is more like judgment. It's like this huge um birth 
like eruption, like a volcano kind of erupting, <laughs> like powering out from the earth, this release of this passion. Um, yeah, go with it, okay? Go with, go with that release. And your advice, don't juggle. <laughs> um, Two of Pentacles is all about juggling, okay? So don't. Stop juggling. Stop trying to, like, do everything. Manage everything. And allow yourself to transform. And also, love yourself. The choices that you're making or you're experiencing is about loving yourself. Your advice is to really feel what's nourishing on an emotional level, on a, um, a real fulfillment level, like for you, just for you. So it's like this, although this kind of sense of being alone is leaving, it's this fulfillment is also coming in. This self-fulfillment just on your own, that you're enough on your own. You don't need to be alone, but you are enough on your own. I hope that makes sense. I don't really know what I'm saying sometimes, it just comes out. <laughs> Hopefully it kind of sinks into where it's meant to go. And you hear what you want in there. Let me just look, bottom of the deck. Oh, guys. <laughs> bottom of the deck, four of wands. This is the grounding of passion, of desire of love, coming in, celebrating, feeling joyful, feeling successful, like prancing around like a deer, having a great time, okay? There's like some joyful celebration that's coming in. This is all leading, this is what I feel is like the kind of future energies from this is like, this is all leading into this future real joy and fulfillment, okay? It may feel like there's a bit of a process going on, but you are moving into some freaking happy times. Look, Wheel of Fortune. This is change. This is, this is the universe shifting and changing and moving. All this, all that you've been doing, everything you've been working on, okay? It's shifting and changing. You're not going to be sad anymore. You're going to feel like you have the world, that everything is coming to you, that everything is coming into completion, that you can have what you want and that the universe wants you to be happy and wants you to be fulfilled and wants you to have your dreams. It's all coming in. And yeah, okay. I, you know, I can go on forever, but essentially it's like this, just this letting go, this release from mental anxiety, release from pain, release from like, uh, release from too much effort, like feeling like you have to work so hard all the time, like things are going to flow more easily, feeling like you, you, your week is going to go, you're going to feel stronger again. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's great, okay? You're going to have a great week. It's going to be intense, I feel, like emotionally really strong and intense, but very powerful transformation. Okay, guys, if you want a personal reading with me, then you can book me through the links below. Otherwise, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment, say hi, let me know what's going on. I love to hear the stories behind all these readings. Uh, and thank you so much for tuning in. I'll speak to you again another time. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Here we go, we're gonna look at your love reading. I'm gonna put all the cards out in this spread and then we'll see what's coming up for you guys. First of all, what is the main process that's going on for you? This week we have Five of Pentacles in reverse. Good coming out of a lack mentality. All right, let's see, what are the lessons? Three of Cups. Temperance in reverse. Nine of Swords. 
in reverse. Good. Okay. Great. Let's see what's coming in for you. Nine of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And what's leaving? Strength in reverse. Nine of Wands. And Princess of Wands in reverse. Good. Your advice. Four of Wands in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. And the devil. <laughs> I love it when the devil comes in as advice. It's great. Okay, guys. This week, what is coming in for you? What is going on? You are going through some kind of shift and change in terms of your connection to yourself. So whether you are in relationship or whether you are single, you are coming out of this idea that you are not enough or that you're not worthy, that you are lacking in something. And you're gonna start seeing your value, okay? You're really gonna feel your value this week. With the, the lessons about joy and fulfillment and happiness, you're learning about connecting with others to create happiness, about creating balance and joy with other people. And you're letting go of, of fears. It's like you've had all these fears and insecurities and you're, you're releasing them. You're letting go of, of um, it's like all these fears that you had that, that weren't true, that aren't true, and they are, they're leaving basically. You're going to be learning about what, um, what, what has been your real fears and what are imaginary fears. And you're going to feel so much happier. There's like some real happiness coming in, some real self-fulfillment coming in. Let's see. With um, temperance in reverse... I feel like you're learning about what you can and can't control in life. And you may have um, in the past felt like you needed to like, work really hard to make what you want, to create what you want in your life. But you're now, um, you're now coming to see how how to balance what is already. It's like the acceptance that you can change some things but you can't change other things. You know, you, I like this quote, you know, you can change, you can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. Does that make sense? Like you can't change a person in terms of who they are or what they want, but you can be around different people. So I feel like there's some kind of uh, lessons for you around around how you shift your reality and your understanding and how you come into more joy. And I really feel like you're gonna be connecting with people. There's like, you're gonna be like happy, like laughing with people. I really see you, I feel you being around other people and having a really happy time. And I feel like you've been through some difficult times, some hard times, and you're moving on from those this week. All right, so. This is gonna apply slightly differently to different people. For some of you, for some of you, this is someone coming in, okay? The Queen of Pentacles. This is someone coming in who is uh, caring, who is stable, who is nurturing, who is loving, who is um, practical, who is resourceful. This could be you, okay? This could be someone else, or this could be part of you. I'm feeling more for most of you that this is you, that you are stepping into your queen energy that you're stepping into, whether you're male or female, you're stepping into this place where you're really able to care for yourself and look after yourself and be, um, uh, like manage, manage what you have and what you don't have, like managing your, 
your finances, your practicality, your energy. Like really looking after that and learning how to manage that and coming into this fulfillment. Okay, Nine of Cups traditionally is, um, for me anyway, about self-love, about coming into real deep, fulfilling self-love. But in this deck, there's a couple here, okay? So this could signify a partnership coming in. There could be someone coming in to your life who is going to bring this kind of um, deeply satisfying um, love. I really feel like this deep love. And this is, um, I feel like what's coming in? I feel like you, you are going to be offering, or you're going to be making this, um, rather than, uh, this is about what's coming in, but also about what you're giving, and that you are, you are giving this to someone, or giving it to yourself. Yeah, this deep, like, um, I'm, I'm going to pour this love into me. This is what I feel for most of you, is I'm really going to really deeply pour this love into myself. I'm going to drink from this cup, like this cup of love that I have, I'm going to drown myself in it, you know, I'm going to quench myself in it. Which is perfect, guys, because that is where you then can give from, that's where you can then nourish other people from, nourish a relationship from my sense for most of you is like really embracing this um this love yeah love for you let's see what's going out so feeling weak basically feeling like you're not strong enough feeling like you're not good enough feeling like you're not capable you're gonna so you're gonna be feeling stronger this week you're gonna let go of needing to kind of defend yourself to kind of fight off your demons this is like stepping into confidence and I feel like letting go of a kind of overly confident nature, you might have some kind of um, sense that you are, there's this kind of, um, this kind of uh, impatience, like this kind of, uh, how do I describe this? L like a kind of, uh, yeah, Im impulsive, kind of adventurous, it's like adventurous, but it's like uh, just without thought kind of just, um, yeah, letting go of this, this need to be like a, um, like pushing all the time or um, pursuing all the time, like letting go of that need to kind of fight for things and, and be in this uh, kind of aggressive energy. It's like really releasing this because it's interesting, this is leaving with the feeling of weakness because actually that need, that kind of feeling for this particular group, what's coming up is the, your need to kind of push for things and grab things and get things is coming from your fear that you don't have what you want, that you are lacking something, that you're missing something. So you're going to be releasing that kind of um, need, which is actually coming from a fear place. So whereas you may have thought that it was strong to kind of really push and pursue in this sense, you're actually, it's actually have been coming from a place of, of self-doubt or self, um, a lack of self-value. Okay, so you, yeah, there's this real sense of um, understanding yourself this week for you guys. Your advice. There may be someone for you to let go of, okay, with the King of Pentacles in reverse your advice to let go of, of a certain person um, and also a certain idea with the four of wands. This is um, the grounding of a desire. It's like letting go of your need. This is, okay, this is what I'm feeling. Letting go of your need to, to have a particular partnership, particular connection, or it to be, or something, some aspect about that person or about yourself. It's like letting go, um, mainly in love, letting go of someone. You need to detach from someone and focus on yourself and then fill up these cups for yourself. Okay, so um, what you need to do is go and have some fun. Okay, go and 
um, flirt with people, meet new people, enjoy yourself, hang around with other people, let go of whoever it is you've been focusing on or putting energy into. And, you know, I do feel this is like um, another person because we've got the Queen of Pentacles in the middle of the spread here and this is the King of per Pentacles in reverse, okay? So I feel like you are kind of separating from someone. Either this is in the process or it's already happened or you're just kind of, um, you know, allowing this to really manifest but you're being advised to just enjoy yourself. Like go and, you know, meet some new people, go and just enjoy the pleasures of, of life and this is going to help you, okay, overcome um, any, any kind of loss. Okay, let's look, bottom of the deck, yeah, eight of pentacles, so you're really like learning to master your self-care, you're really learning how to look after yourself and how to manage yourself and what's important to you. And we do have like six of cups coming in, like this is love that's right here. It's like as soon as you're able, this is what's coming up in the future, okay? As soon as you're able to master this aspect of yourself, this part of yourself where you really learn how to truly, truly love yourself and worship yourself and honor yourself, love is coming in. A soulmate's coming in. This may be someone returning from your past, from like from childhood or from when you were younger, or um, or or this is just someone who feels very familiar, like a soulmate connection where someone comes in and you feel like you just knew them your whole life. Okay, but you won't be waiting around anymore. You're gonna let go of all the tension, the anxiety. Yeah, you're you're gonna just come into a place where you're able to. Uh, um, realize that you don't need to be completed by someone else. You know, you come into this fulfillment on yourself and then and then the love comes in, okay? It's a very, like, it's a slightly generic message in that sense, but that that is what is coming through to you. And, um, yeah, I, I hope that that makes sense and that you're able to uh, find this joy, find this pleasure, let go of this anxiety and just... Um, yeah, really, really honor yourself this week. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in, people. Please, uh, you can book me below if you want a personal reading, some more specific advice, uh, or give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to speaking to you again another time.